At the very beginning of the kindergarten year, I had been on the lookout for just a giant book that would have a lot of different um, subjects in one that we could just kind of pull out a page and do. I purchased the big kindergarten um, book, and this is by School Zone, and it's for ages five to six. And I got on a kick for a little bit of cutting the spines off of my books. Sometimes it worked out. Other times it did not. This one I did like doing it actually because it made it easier to pull out just an individual page or two because it is difficult to do the worksheets when they're not um, when when they're in a the spine. It is harder, and so it gives some instructions over here for the parents, and so it covers the alphabet, shapes and measurements, numbers to twenty, transition math, reading readiness, answer key, and then they get a certificate at the very end. And so what I did, as you can see, is I cut it out, Oops, excuse me. and then I also little tabbed it. So if there was something um, specific that I wanted to find really quick, I could. So it talks about the alphabet and how they're going to introduce that. And so we see with the letter H, they're going to trace the H, upper and lower. There's going to be a sentence, a little horse picture, and then different items that start with H. Here we go, they're reviewing G, H, and I, and then we go to J. So we had another book that we were using for our handwriting, so we didn't do very many of the handwriting pages. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to here, where you wrote all the alphabet, and then we start the colors and shapes. And so we'll be going through all the colors and shapes. We've done all of these, and so I have them all um, paper clips so it's easier to find. So we're practicing our numbers, a little bit of mazes, then we're working on the numbers zero to 20. And so again, we had a number book, so we didn't use this one very much after we actually got started. This would be, um, we'll probably do some more of this during the summer, just as a little bit of extra practice. So as you can see with having it in the three ring binder, it is much easier to take out and be like, okay, here, do page 11, and then it's easier to write and you don't have to worry about the spine. So this is one that I did like that I cut the spine out of. Numbers. Got a little bit of uh, number connection here. She does not like to color very much. So if it involves coloring, probably not going to be doing that. So then we go to math and we start with, we're kind of recognizing the actual written word as, as well as the numerical number. A lot of matching, counting numbers. Here we go again. Count the circle in the group that has one more. Group that has fewer, fewer. Then we've got like some before, what's the missing number, what's the missing, the number before, between, after. So there's definitely a few of these. They're going to be really easy, but you know, that just kind of boosts um, her confidence for the end of this year since we're all done with kindergarten. She can kind of do these and still get a little bit of the recognition, but it's not something that she's going to have to work really hard on here at the kindergarten, end of kindergarten. And then we have a skills. And so we have some reading readiness. And so we've done quite a few of those, and it was, let's see if I can get this apart. Um, things that make perfect sense. We're going to sunny day at the beach. Silly swing, circle of things that don't belong. So here's some of our skills. We're doing our left and our right. Here's a few things that we'll cover that will be a little bit new as far as like talking about prepositions. Uh, words that rhyme. We've done quite a few of those. Cause and effect. We've been doing most of those as well. These are some things that we can definitely do this summer that she can read these and be able to do these. So this was just things that we do kind of uh, extra at the when we weren't doing school so much and this is definitely something that we'll kind of finish up this summer as well because we're not going to start in on a program this summer. We're just going to kind of hone all of our skills that we've been working on. And so we have the answer key. And then at the end, they get the certificate. And then here's some activities to share. And then this is what the back of the cover looked like. And it was the big kindergarten book. 
And so I think they do have like the big first grade book, the big second grade book. I did not purchase the big first grade book. I actually purchased the Brain Quest workbook for first grade. So if you wanna see that, um, take a look at my other videos cause I'll be putting a video up for that too. So this was for the kindergarten book. It give you a quick flip through in case you were interested. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.